اخبار اليوم بيكم هنبدا مع ترايل اكزام نمبر 2 نشوف الاسئله برضو يعني نتعرف على اسئله اكتر نشوف نجاوبها ازاي بشكل اسرع اول سؤال شو ذا كوريكت انسر نمبر 1 ذا 6 كروموسومز ار سيميلار ان سوماتيك سيلز ان ذا كيس اوف دوتس داون ميل داون ميل 45 بلس اكس واي يبقى ال 6 كروموسومز هنا نوت سيميلار كلان فلتر سيندروم 6 كروموسومز اكس اكس واي اور مور ذان اكس اكس واي may travel XY. Pethyl male, that's XO, but the duct male is XX. So the right answer or the two sex chromosomes are similar in duct male because impaired is the female is XY, but the male is XX. Number two, as the dorsal side of the bony vertebra, the structure connected with the syndrome is called, of course, the part of the 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 uh, uh, centrum that's called the uh, spinal ring that's surrounded by the arc or the vertebral arc or the neural arc number three in the case of incomplete linkage if the distance between the two linkage genes is 28 let me only the distance 28 units are in the crossing over ratio here 28 type you like e so The rate of crossing over 28% uh, rate دي بيتين فعشي لو قال لي ريش يقول له اوكي لك الريت رونج لازم دي بقى ده تايمز تو The ratio of crossing over 56% تنفعش لان الريشو هنا of crossing over هي الديستنس طيب اللي بعدها The ratio of crossing over 14 uh, طب وليه 14 انت عملت divide the two ليه ما دي ديستنس ما تنفعش لكن في نمبر دي بيقول لي the ratio of parental character is the 72 Uh, the last answer is the right answer. Then we have 100%. The ratio of parental 72, the ratio of crossing over 28. That's right. Number four. The male gonads in firmness are known as. Uh, let me tell you, male gonads. I'm going to talk about anthridia. If I tell you the male gonads, I'm going to talk about archegonia. Number B. The obs diagram represents TR in the molecule. Explain. its role in building a protein. What the role of the TRNA during the protein sense? The TRNA carry amino acids to the ribosome and the mRNA during the translation process. Label the parts indicated on the diagram. This part A at the three prime end is the CCA, which is called the attachment site of amino acids. But the P site is the anticodon. Anticodon is a three successive nucleotide on the tRNA complementary with the codons on the mRNA during protein sense. So that's the two sites or the two very important sites in the transverse, the transfer RNA. Number three, how this RNA transcripted? Here we have a little bit, because the RNA transcription takes place by the RNA polymerase enzyme. RNA polymerase enzyme separates the two strains of the DNA. Certain part or certain portion of single strain of DNA, which is called the brometer, that's transcripted into the complementary nucleotides one by one to form the single strain of RNA. The single strain of RNA form a number of loops and the coils to form the common shape of the tRNA or the transfer RNA. Number C, compare between each of the following, tissue culture and embryonic culture. The tissue culture is a kind of asexual reproduction where a part of the plant is located in the medium containing all the nutritive substance and the oxygen that needed by the plant that allow this part of the plant to develop to produce complete plant. This act as a tissue culture. But the embryonic culture, the a number of cells in the early embryonic stages are separated and they put each of them inside the uterus female it developed to produce complete individuals that also act as a kind of asexual reproduction but the function of the tissue culture that shortens the time of cultivation that's increase or propagate the rare plants and also that produce our production of new strains of the plants and also solve the food problem. But what about the embryonic culture? The embryonic culture is very important to increase the number of uh, individuals or the living organisms that exposed to the extinction. Uh, 
the second comparison between binary fission and budding. Binary fission and the budding. Binary fission, the mother cell divided into two cells similar in size. But in the budding, the mother cell produced very small cell that's called the bud. The binary fission, uh, in the case of the binary fission, the mother cell disappear, but not disappear in the budding. The binary fission takes place in unicellular only, but in budding in unicellular and multicellular. The example of binary fission in unicellular as the bacteria, algae, the uh, uh, unicellular organisms, bacteria, the, but in the case of the budding in uh, unicellular as the yeast, in multicellular as that in the uh, uh, sponges and the hydra. That's the end of this question. Thank you very much.